guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Feminine to this week's yin reading from May the 31st until June the 8th. I hope you're all doing well. I'm using uh, Dorian Virtues Romance Angel cards I just picked up. So I'm going to do a split yin, yin yang, uh, yin yang reading. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll pull the cards first and then I'll go through the positions. Okay, so let's look at the overall energy for the next week. Let go of control issues. Um, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, so, you know, this card talks about obviously letting go of control issues. You can't um, force a situation, um, you can't manipulate a situation. You just have to allow it to be. Let me just look at the card real quick here. Let go. Oh. So ask for, oh, no, sorry. Um, step out of the way. So you're outlining, you have expectations about a person, um, how they should behave, how they should act. And, um, so that's going to set you up for disappointment. And, yeah, if you try to control a situation, it just leads to frustration, and it actually slows the progress. So practice positive thinking as an overall energy. <clears throat> All right, so how do you feel about yourself? Children. You, your love life is being affected by children. So this could be literal, um, but the other two meanings is one, be more playful, um, be more childlike, innocent, free with your actions. And that, that was actually an overall um, message from the universe for the masculine to be childlike, um, be adventurous. Um, the other meaning is to resolve childhood issues, childhood traumas. So there is, um, you know, something that you're working on internally. Um, that needs healing, okay, or it could literally mean that you are focusing your attention on your children right now. How do you feel about the masculine? Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love, love, love life right now. So notice again how the energy is away from the masculine. This was a card that you uh, picked up, I believe, in the June energy reading. So your attention is focused too much on the 3D reality. Now this is how you feel about the masculine. So you feel, you know, that there's too many barriers uh, financially separating the two of you. Um, now the message to this card is to be childlike, be, you know, innocent and free. You need to play more. You're, you're spending too much time um, working. So you may see the masculine as the one who's doing a lot of the you know, retreating because he's working too hard. Or this could be you. Um, you don't have any time to focus on the masculine because there are things that you need to take care of in 3D reality. All right. So in the extended reading, I'm probably going to do a little bit of reading, okay? As well as to pull uh, three clarifiers per position. So the link for that will be below. So how do you feel about the relationship? Free yourself. Wow, ladies, this is crazy synchronicities. Exactly the same energy that I was picking up at the Twin Flame reading and the uh, June. So you want to take back control of your life, actually. You know, the overall energy is let go of control issues, but this card talks about it's time to take back control of your life. And so this is how you view the relationship. 
um, you feel that it is entrapping you or um, maybe you feel trapped by your situation and you want to be free but you feel locked out and that was definitely a theme um, that mental blockage okay so you desire to um, either free yourself from the re relationship free yourself from control um, or you desire to be allowed to be let back in like you feel locked out of the connection all right so what is your fear pay attention to red flags oh my god so this was the, you know a, a card again that keeps showing up but it, this is also how the masculine viewed you now you're you know this card talks about the signs that signs are cautioning you that you you need to either pay attention to someone's behavior you know how they're acting um, are they taking on characteristics of some people from your past your past relationships you know are you noticing addictive behaviors um, listen to your intuition if something feels like it's wrong or amiss then you know listen to that okay so you fear that the signs that you're receiving are you know maybe they're negative signs and they're, they're kind of pushing you away from the connection you feel that maybe there's no way to fix this relationship um, yeah I, I you know I feel very strongly you really want to disconnect you want freedom you want to be able to do your own thing you're you're letting go of the relationship or the connection on on some level now notice how you know it's the masculine sitting here and the feminine's kind of walking away again the energy is pointing away from the connection very reminiscent of the twin flame for sure all right so what do you want true love this is the romance of a lifetime. So the masculine got this for what he feared. What you want is passion, love. You want to be able to express your emotions. Um, you you don't want any barriers, any burden, any fears to come in the way. And that's all I see happening. So you, this is also a frame of mind, right? If you're in a romantic mood and you're, you're giving love, then you will receive love. You will attract that love into your life. But if you're having it, you know, as a lack, this is what you want, then you always feel like you're lacking, you know? So you have to feel at one, um, feel committed to yourself, first before you can be in a committed relationship or attract that person into your life right so um, what will be flirt extend your light hearted energy to others awesome uh, the masculine got express your love so you guys are mirroring each other as a final outcome flirt again childlike inner energy very playful um, making eye contact, uh, you know, going on a date, getting intimate and connecting with somebody on a deep emotional level is what this card is about. And I'll probably read it in the extended reading. Very beautiful. All right, so let's pull a final message from the universe. I think I pulled the, what did I do? I think I did the Osho Zen for this one. No, I did it for the extended. So we'll leave this for the extended. And I think I used the Call It Baron Read. Yes, I did. Wisdom of the Oracle. That one. Serendipity. I love that movie serendipity that's what this card reminds me of that they're you know this couple in the movie 
with John Cusack. I can't remember who the feminine was. Um, but they just kept on bumping into each other, you know, and they, they shared that deep twin flame connection. Um, you know, they felt that it was meant to be. So this card also talks about luck. So let me read it. Okay. So opportunity allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, luck, and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, magical alignment of events. So pay attention to red flags. It's kind of pointing to your, you're really in tune with people's energy, what they're doing, how they're acting, that kind of thing. But maybe you should be paying more attention to the ethereal uh, signs, you know, like the 1111. Um, what is the universe trying to say to you? Okay, so spirit has a plan, and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey, someone spirit wants you wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan for this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. Okay, so out of your hands, letting go, allowing spirit to bring yourself or bring your masculine to you. There's nothing you need to do. And don't you feel that way, right? Just the craziest synchronicities continue to line up with your twin flame and they're undeniable. Um, it's almost like you, you know, you definitely share the same life path, um, but it's almost like you guys are living parallel lives. And so there's, you know, you're bound to connect over and over and over again because you share the same interests. All right, so um, please let me know if this resonates. I love your comments. I read them all. Um, I don't have a chance to respond to them all, but I value your opinion so very much, guys. Um, so leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. All right, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Back. So this is the extended version of the Twin Flame. So um, I wanted to read the letting go control issues or did we already read that no we didn't um, so it says the romance angels have heard your prayers about your love life now it's up to you to allow their help to manifest by stepping out of their way by trying to control other people or external circumstances you are only frustrating yourself and and slow down your answered or your ah, and slow down your answered prayers there are plenty of times in life that call for you to take charge, but this isn't one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences, practice visualization, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayer may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based on upon fears that others, including God, won't live up to your expectations. This is called outlining, where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave. Outlining could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered. So please call upon the romance angels to elevate your level of trust so that you can enjoy the creative avenues by which true love comes to you. Right? And that's exactly what this card was saying. Trust. Um, you know, Spirit has a plan for you. Alright, so how you view yourself as children. So I just wanted to look at the highlights for you, just recap. Um, yeah, there's Something that needs to be resolved. This could represent actual children. Um, it represents your inner child and the need to heal a childhood wound. So let's give these clarifiers a quick shuffle here. Uh, 
I think it's getting ready to rain today. The reunion card just jumped up and the Five of Swords fell out. Um, the reunion card fell out first. So the reunion card is desiring to come together, uh, you know, somebody from the past coming back. Um, it could represent a healing, you know, something needs to be healed. Um, there's this deep bond that is, you know, everlasting. Um, the Five of Swords is negative energy projected at you or at somebody else. It's finger pointing, um, being triggered, you know, pushing somebody's buttons. Right, so the two together is there's some negative thoughts and energy and resistance when it comes to reunion. That's what I feel with those two cards. So I'm just going to put them aside. I don't know, really know where they belong. Um, okay, so children, let me just finish shuffling again. Okay, so let's pull three. King of Cups, Yin, and the King of Air. Um, very cool. The uh, masculine got the Yang in how he feels about himself in the present position. So we have definite mirroring. Uh, so what this tells me is that you know who you are as the Divine Feminine. Um, there is this beauty and self-love that I, I feel here. Um, now, in terms of the masculine, we've got two kings on either side. The king of cups, past position, could represent a water sign. Here's an air sign. Now, the past position, you know, the, for me, this represents the masculine in a very emotionally balanced state. Um, somebody who gives love, you know, um, uh, the love is undying, the love is pure um it is you know it's just a deep deep bond is what i feel here so whose children are these could it be the masculine the children are you know he's he's putting his kids first and that should be the you know the way things work in the world today or sorry in the world to yesterday but today, things, the perspective is a little different, okay? In order for your children to be happy, you need to put yourself first, okay? And then when you are happy, then your children are happy, okay? Now, if you're staying in a relationship, a karmic partner, because of children, nobody benefits from that because you're not happy, right? So, you know... Um, being in a marriage really is a contract. You're, you are making an agreement with another person that I'm going to stay with you for basically my entire, the rest of my life, right? And um, then when you have children, it changes the situation. Then you're ever linked no matter what, you know, before you could get a divorce and, you know, that kind of thing. But now with children, you guys share this bond that is unbreakable. So when something like that happens, you're like, well, you know, there's no way that I can be free of this connection. And so you become resentful of it. Even though you love your children deeply, um, you can see there's a deep love here, but it causes resentment. It causes fighting. You know, the children don't want to grow up in a home where the parents are always fighting, right? So now this could also mean that the feminine... Um, is in a playful um, energy, very uh, lighthearted, um, innocent, but I don't know. You know, there's so many different ways that you can read, it, read this. Now, the king of swords in the future position, like I said, could represent an air sign, but there's some, somebody who is very unemotional, right? So this is double air. No emotions whatsoever, Why, whereas the King of Cups is air and water. So there's a balance between the two. So this is pure thought, authority, um, making decisions, having clear communication. So this could be 
you know, a rift between two masculine energy. Um, one you may have had children with in the past. Um, hmm. Uh, let me just pull one more clarifier here. So I think I'll use my smaller deck. So one card for the King of Cups first, please. Unchained. Unchained King of Cups coupled with the children's card. Unchained, free, free to express your emotions. That's what I'm feeling with that. Childlike. Now, this Six of Cups is, you know, fell out earlier and that again is all about um, being childlike in your loving space. Very similar energy to the King of Cups as well. So um, either you've known this person from childhood like I did. Um, so whenever I look at the masculine, I see the pureness of his soul as a child, you know, um, not as this hard, cold energy, you know, of he's wearing his character, right, um, as a garment, basically. So, you know, these are all the conditions, all the stories, all the attachments. Um, yeah, so the reverse of this card is stuck in ego. Upright, I'm guessing, is unchained. I'm, I guess... I, don't know, I made the card, so <laughs> yes, upright, unchained is freedom. So, what do you mean by the King of Swords? A hero. A hero. Coward in reverse, hero. So, what I feel with the King of Swords is action. Um. Now, in the Yang reading, he really, really desires to express his emotions, his, you know, to communicate. And the throat chakra was coming in as a final come in the future, All right? So, and it was coupled with the, the Express Your Love card. So, I'm kind of thinking that um, the feminine, you're holding space. past there's a lot of emotional connections and then chaining um, the future is thought air and a hero so I th I'm almost feeling you know this movement from unsteadiness about emotions right if you don't want to see unchained with somebody who's emotionally balanced, right? That, that kind of indicates that there's an issue there, that you're not chained to somebody. But then again, that's a twin flame connection, right? You, a true love connection is to love somebody from a distance, not wanting to own them or control them. Um, and it's almost like this hero rushes in and clears the air. And the feminine, like I said, holding space. So, okay, so how do you feel about the masculine is finances and career. So the highlights, I just want to look at this. Still trying to learn this deck here. Okay, so, so love and money basically go hand in hand. Um balance work with playfulness and laughter untangle freedom enjoy life and po become be positive so this card does talk about you know you're concentrating too much on the 3d reality you need to balance it okay so let's pull three cards three of wands the queen of pentacles and the page of fire so we've got two fire cards with the Queen of Pentacles in the middle. Now the Queen of Pentacles, very similar energy to what I'm seeing on this card. She's all about the 3D reality. She's all about, um, you know, financial stability. She 
um, is very successful in her career. She desires to make a beautiful home. So very similar energy here. And that's coming in the present position. Now remember this this um, series of cards is for the masculine. Okay, so we need to look at this from you know, in different perspectives. I'm not entirely sure um, what these cards are trying to say. The entire reading is really stumping me, actually. Okay, so the past position. Let's take it one card at a time. Three of Wands. So, thumbs up from the universe. Feeling encouraged. Both of these cards have excited looks on their face. Right, so this card represents that there's this creative idea, this venture, this new start happening. And it has to do with your skills, your talents. Now you're starting to see the, the fruits of your labor. And so you're encouraged, you're excited about it. Right? So you're giving your buddy a thumbs up. Yeah, I did it kind of thing. Or vice versa. But it means a thumbs up from the universe. So you feel like you're on the right path because it is bringing financial stability into your life. So what I'm feeling here is a detachment from the masculine even though this is in a masculine position it's like you are completely focused on you know bringing abundance into your life um, doing pursuing things that make you excited and happy um, you know this is all about pursuing passions very similar energy um, you have this great idea, this spark of inspiration, this realization, right? So this card more or less talks about the prospect of this new beginning. So the page is uh, a new adventure, a new start, and but it has more to do with your spirituality or creativity. So there's a new beginning on the horizon that has to do with your masculine. But right now, you're you are trying to let go of issues concerning the masculine be in your yin energy focus on um the 3d but again the message of this card is to play and lo and behold we have a card that represents playfulness being childlike flirt so the relationship we have, free yourself. Okay, so it says, um, like the unicorn in the image on the card, you may be feeling trapped. Perhaps you've relinquished control to somebody else. Or maybe you feel smothered in your career or relationship. As you tune into yourself, you'll sense the specific areas where this message applies to you. You can even ask yourself, in what ways do I feel limited or constrained? Trust the answers you receive. So this card comes to say that the angels have heard you um, and to experience passion um, you must first allow yourself to feel deep emotion and that's what I was saying before. You need to feel those deep emotions uh, and then that's where you you know you, you can feel the resistance um, that's where you harbor that discontent and that's what you need to work through so simply by acknowledging these areas you bring light to the situation and allow room for the angels to work with you as you commit to taking care taking back control of your life your feelings will naturally thaw and reawaken this leads to a greater capacity to love yourself, your partner, and your experiences. So, um, yeah, maybe you feel trapped by the connection. You feel, um, yeah, there's definitely resistance there that you need to work through. All right, so let's pull the clarifier as well. The ego, the two of wands, and the queen of cups. Ego. So addiction, self-limiting beliefs, codependent relationships, that's why you want to free yourself. You feel that this, within the relationship, it triggers the ego. Um, anytime possibly you think of a reunion, um, you 
it brings up negative thoughts. Okay, so that's what you need to free yourself from, the ego. The two wands, present position, there you go. The door is open, you know, just like the unicorn here. All the unicorn needs to do is stand up and just walk over that tiny little gate, right? It's up to you. You, you choose um, to free yourself. And so what I see here is, is very beautiful. The ego is in the past. You are in a two of one frame of mind, right? You you are expanding your consciousness. You're seeing all the possibilities. The door is open, but you're just not walking through it fully. Um, the future position, we have the queen of cups, right? So this is double emotions. Um, so this means that this is somebody who is um, bound to their emotions uh, they make the decisions based on their emotions and how they feel you know they're intuitively guided they're very psychic um so in the future you know anything that has triggered you in the past may make you feel emotional in the future and you will continue continue to be in this feeling of trappedness and burden until you fully release yourself from negative thoughts, feeling like you're either locked out or trapped by the connection, one of the two. What do you fear? Pay attention to the red flags. Let me read the highlights. Okay, so... Um, characteristics or, or behavior that you don't want in another person, so pay attention to those things. Emotional blindness, um, dishonesty, disrespect, flirting with other people. And again, this usually has to do with a new love. So pay attention to your feelings and impressions. Something is off. Um, so it points to an unhealthy relationship. And it also talks about addiction as well. Okay, so you're... Oops, she's almost dropped that. Yeah, so you're paying... Okay, you're, you're... What I'm seeing here, because it's in your fear position, is just, you know, the, there's these red flags going up that are scaring you. But I think you're... You are analyzing the situation too much and you have to release yourself from those thoughts. The alchemist or the magician, nice. The four of wands and the sacral chakra in reverse. So the, the magician, number one, um, this is the conscious mind. So activating the magician, um, is the first step to manifestation. Okay, so this is focused con concentration on manifestation. So you realize that there is a reality that you can create. You have the power to do that, um, which requires your will to be focused on that until you've completed it, right? Carry it through to completion. The present position, we have the Four of Wands, so confirmation of a twin flame connection. Um, so this is commitment, um, coming together, you know, buying a home, get, um, getting married. Um, there's a new beginning, but your whole life is spread out before you. So there's an expansion here. So there's this seed of intention that is planted, an activation of your, your consciousness to manifest the um, twin flame connection into your life but the signs and synchronicities that you're picking up on are causing you to turn away to question whether this is real or not um, the future position we have the sacral chakra reversed so this is this talks about your um, emotional relationships with other people so I was feeling that blockage with the Queen of Cups in the future, right? And we got the King of Swords in the future as well. But then we got the Page of Wands in the future as well. So, you know, turn, you know, 
work through your emotional um, blockage. Definitely a repeated theme here. Um, open yourself up. Don't become the king of swords on emotional. Um, you know, I almost feel like you're telling yourself stories. You're almost like you're trying to convince yourself that your feelings, the synchronicities, and all of that aren't true. And so that's creating the blockage. All right, so what do you want? You want true love, don't we all? So let me read that. You pulled this card because true and lasting love is here for you. If your question was about a specific person, then this card serves as validation of the relationship's divine nature. This individual has genuine love for you, and you both can overcome issues that arise. This is especially the case if you can express your feelings through attributes of, such as kindness, compassion, courtesy towards each other. For instance, having an honest communication would be an expression of your true love even if it involves discussing uncomfortable topics. If you're currently seeking a relationship, this card offers the assurance that true love is on its way. Keep the faith that wonderful relationship is destined to come to you again. Come to you. And don't compromise with an unsuitable partner. It is essential that you treat yourself with, uh, well by taking excellent care of yourself. Again, repeated message. For the foundation of true love relationship is two people who cherish who they are. And I've actually mentioned that earlier. So you want true love, you must first love yourself and then you attract that to you. Ace of Wands, the sun. Wow, wow. Um, very positive energy. We got an 11 here. The Ace of Wands, past position, the spark of inspiration, um, this, you know, aha moment, the light goes off, go light, go time, new beginning that's more spiritually aligned. Okay, so there was that spark there. Um, the relationship already began in the past, so you already know this person is what I'm feeling with this. The Sun card, the most positive card in the deck, reduces to one, so new beginning, returning to innocence um, you want to return to that beautiful place of um, freedom pure love innocence true love right that's what true love is all about is being able to feel love unconditionally for the other the eight of wands future position could represent communication so Communication was big on the masculine side. Um, so this is keep his arrows, positive energy, positive messages coming towards you, or you sending it out. Um, but I really feel it's coming towards you because this positive energy was already sent out into the universe, you know, in the past, and now it's coming back. As the Eight of Wands, Ace, uh, number one to the Eight. So we got that beautiful progression. Um, so the Eight of Fire is also about accelerated energy. There's an uplifting energy. It's um, excitement. Okay. It's a new beginning is on the horizon. Um, and it's manifestation. You're, you wish upon a star and those, um, those dreams are about to manifest. And so the final outcome, Flirt. I wanted to read that one as well. So this is all about body language, um, making eye contact, expressing your emotions. And remember the masculine got um, express your love. Um, okay, F, F, there we go. Okay. So, the romance angels guide you to initiate romance with flirtatiousness, which entails smiling with your eyes as you connect with others. It doesn't necessarily involve sexuality, although it can. Flirting is playful in nature. Again, that playful, 
playfulness is important. You need to play. You need to flirt. Um, deep in that bond. And playfulness is the heart of romance. If you're in a relationship, um, flirting with your partner can revive passion. If you're single, this activity can attract new friendships as well as love relationships. Drawing this card can simply mean that making more eye contact with other others while will help you connect with people. This is especially true if you smile and say hello more often. Everyone you meet is a potential friend, and studies show that most people are um, introduced to their mates through mutual acquaintances. Therefore, form new friendships, both as a way of meeting a new partner and to increase your enjoyment of life. So, I feel this is the feminine, you becoming more passionate. And it may be because the masculine reaches out and expresses his emotions and so, you know, this is you excited and in an emotional space. Um, it might rock your world. It's, you know, Cupid's arrows coming towards you. Very positive. And it could just be an air sign. I don't know. Um, okay, so three cards. The tower. Base chakra. And the four of air. This base chakra actually showed up. Uh, in the future position for the twin flame reading. So this is a future position. <clears throat> I can't remember what it pertained to, but um, so the tower past position, you know, this is illusions, or lies, falseness. Um, it all comes down and it could come down very suddenly. But um, from that point on, you'll never be the same again, right? So the illusion must come down in order for um, a strong foundation to be built on it. And so in the present position, we have base chakra. So this is a feeling unsafe. Um, your basic needs aren't met. So with the tower, you feel unsafe. You feel triggered. You feel, you, you're uncomfortable. You feel like you're gonna lose something. Future position, we have the four swords. So this is somebody who retreats, move to a calmer state of mind so that you can heal your heart, make decisions. And it comes after the three of swords. So, not so good confirmation cards when it comes to the flirting as a final outcome. So I'm, I'm feeling this is caution. Um, don't withdraw, you know, if somebody's flirting with you, flirt back. You close yourself off, then it's going to be a very lonely um, life, right? So enjoy life even if you know if it means a new relationship a new connection don't deny yourself that um, every connection is a learning experience you're always going to grow no matter what so even though um, there's a sense that you need to take control of your life let go control issues um, you know, some negative thoughts kind of swirling around in your head, there is a lot of positive energy to look forward to. Okay, so let me pull one final message from the universe, from the Osho Zen. Alrighty, okay. Fighting. Okay, so this is the Knight of Swords. So this is somebody who is closed off. They're wearing armor. They're unemotional, and that's what I was picking up. Very cool. And that's basically what I just finished saying. And, you know, the King of Swords is being represented as somebody very stern, very cold-hearted as well. And remember, that was coming in the future. So again, it's I think it's caution. So the figure in this card is completely covered in armor. Only his glare of rage is visible and the whites of his knuckles on his clenched fists. If you look closely at the armor, you can see there, you can see it's covered with buttons, ready to detonate if anybody um, so much as brushes up against them. In the background, we see the shadowy movie that plays in the man's head. 
two figures fighting for a castle. Okay, so yeah, I was kind of picking up on this movie that was um, being projected in the feminine's mind in the twin flame reading, actually. So, an explosive temper or a smoldering rage often makes um, masks a deep feeling of pain. We think that if we frighten people away, we can avoid being hurt even more. In fact, just the opposite, opposite is the case. By covering our wounds with armor, we are preventing them from being healed. By lashing out at others, we keep ourselves from getting the love and nourishment we need. If this description seems to fit you, it's time to stop fighting. There is so much love available to you if you just let it in. Start by forgiving yourself. You're worth it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was seeing here. Stop fighting. Let love in. A lot of the comments that I was reading, um, you know, what I'm feeling from the feminine is this energy. You know, they're 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 tired of um, the whole twin flame connection, right? They've been disappointed so many times. Um, they're disconnecting. Yes, they're detaching. Yes, but it it is n not really out of love. It is out of I don't give a fuck anymore. Do you know what I mean? So regain that vibration, that positive energy that, you know, and your twin flame vibrates at the same level that you do. Whenever you come in contact with your twin flame, immediately you're back in that high vibration energy. Only they can do that to you. Only they can awaken those senses within you. And so, you know, I'm almost feeling like you've disconnected so much that that loving vibration, you're losing that loving vibration for the masculine. You're falling out of love. You're purposely cutting yourself off, right? Because you don't want to be hurt anymore. And you don't want to be, you feel like you're being, um, you know, strung along. Um, you know, desiring this connection and not working out. There's just so much negative energy. Um, so that's not the place that you want to be in. You want to be in the serendipity space. You're giving love to your masculine no matter what. And if you're able to express that love, that love will be reciprocated. You know, that love will come back to you. But not if you're like that. All right. So I do hope this reading helps. And I'm sending major love your way. Please guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. All right. Cheers.